What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using a personal fairy type favorite of mine. We got ourselves a Mimikyu team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Mimikyu, its main purpose is doing big time damage and setting up Trick Room. And that is exactly what we're doing in today's video. We got Play Rough, we got Wood Hammer, we got Trick Room, and we also have will o -Wiz. So if we're going up against big time physical attackers such as like Dragonite, we can throw a nice little will o -Wiz, burn them, half their physical attack stat, and pretty much just take them out of the game. Mimikyu is amazing due to its ability to disguise, allowing it to take its first hit, so that's why it's such a really good Trick Room user. You can't just take it out one hit, unless obviously you have like an ability like Mold Breaker where you can hit through abilities, but for the most part, no Pokemon is running it in the meta right now. Our final part of Mimikyu is going to be its item. It's got that mental herb, which works so well as it's a Trick Room setter. If somebody wants to taunt it, we'll just say, nope, we'll pop our mental herb and go from there. Other Pokemon on today's team features the Pelipper and Archaludon combo. I'm pretty sure I don't even have to talk about them anymore. They're going to be all over Regulation H. We've been seeing Pelipper a lot, and Archaludon is just super strong. We got Ursaluna, Blood Moon, Ursaluna, to be exact, with Life Orb and Mind's Eye, Rock and Hyper Voice, Blood Moon, Earth Power, and Protect. And then our final two Pokemon are two more Ghost types. We got Sinisha and Golden Go. Golden Go can set up the nice spot, be a big time special attacker, and Sinisha, a great little HP recovery ability and another trick room user or i can imprison trick room Sinish is nice little support guys you want to see for yourself rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel but without further ado let's hop into our first match showcasing mimikyu in ranked regulation h first match on its way and we are going up against a glaceon and a low and nightail snow squad so just for that purpose, I have to bring in Pelipper just for weather control. They also have Incineroar, they got Roboom, they got Storm Drain, Gastron, and last but not least, they got Hisuian Zoro, which does scare me. It definitely does scare me. Now, the Pokemon are kind of on the slower side, so do we really need to pop Trick Room? I could if I want to, or I can kind of just go into, like, I don't know, my Ghost types could be pretty good here, like Mimikyu and Golden Go, and then bring Pelipper Arch Ludon for late game. I like that. I do definitely like that. So I'm going to go into both of them. Um, and then go Pelper Arch Ludon. That is something I definitely like. Yeah, I'm going to lock it in. But guys, I don't want to speak too soon. I'm a big fantasy football guy. I love fantasy football. My team is up. I got a 99% chance to win going into Monday Night Football. This video will actually be already out after Monday Night Football. But I'm up by 72. My opponent has two players left. I don't want to jinx it because anything can happen in fantasy football. But I'm thinking I'm winning week one. Be awesome. Be awesome. We got Anthony Richardson. He was a dog this week. Ramondre Stevenson was a dog. D David Montgomery was a dog. My wide receivers and tight ends didn't, didn't hold up their side then. Marvin Harrison, low. He'll bounce back. Dalton Kincaid, same thing from him. He'll bounce back. And then Jamar Chase, going through contract issues. He'll be back. He'll be back. It's Jamar Chase. Last but not least, we had Stefan Diggs. Went crazy. Two tutties. Come on now. Week one went pretty well for me. But it could have been better. Like I said, my, my two receivers and my tight end didn't live up to their expectations. But... That's why there's 17 weeks, or 17 games, I should say. They'll bounce back. But, back to the action. Glaceon and Gaston come out here. And I think that Gaston, to be honest, might be Zoroak. And I'm going to make that prediction and go into a Nasty Pot here. With a Steel Terra. And if you are Gaston, we are just going to take you out Woodhammer. I'm not too sure if you are, though. That's my problem. I don't know if you are Gaston. The speed's decent for us. They could go into... Obviously, they could go into Ninetales here. But I'm going to go into a nice little Steel Terror type. Just because I do think that this Gaston is... Zoruk. And there's a Shadow Ball from you. So good Terror on our end. Kind of sucks that you outspeed us. Because you did a lot of damage there. Woodhammer is going to launch. And you are Gastrodon. Okay. I'm cool with this. You are Gastrodon. You are indeed Gaston. Do I pop a Tailwind? Or not a Tailwind after it's a Trick Room? Really depends on who you go into. I got Nasty Plot up. I do got Leftovers. So I might just protect Pop Trick Room because Glaceon does outspeed me. It really, again, it really depends on who they go into. But that was Gaston, so that worked out fine. They do go into Nine Tails. I kind of want to pop this Trick Room, man. I say we say screw it. Protect the Pop Trick Room. So I think they set up a Roar Veil and then go for another, like, Shadow Ball or something. I'm gonna do it. You can have a, your Roar Veil. You can have it. You can have it. You can have it. That's fine. We already picked up a big time first KO. I mean, Make It Rain's gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage, which is good. 
But I'm gonna pop this trick room. I'm gonna protect pop trick room. He's gonna thrasize a low and nine tails into water, which is totally fine with Arch loot on it in the in the back end. They're out of storage and gash on. I like this. I like this. So if, again, if you want to set up a war veil, be my guest. As long as I get off this trick room. So right now, both of them outspeed us. Blizzard is gonna launch. Okay, you're gonna take off the skies. You're going after Mimikyu. Please don't go after Mims. Please don't go after Mims. Oh no! 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 Not a freeze! Not a freeze! Yo, Mimikyu, thaw out. This would have been a perfect turn for us. You gotta thaw out, Mims. No! Oh man. That's rough. That's rough. That is rough. That really hurts. That really hurts the soul. That really hurts the soul. I am going to go for a make it rain, but I am going to swap into Pelipper. Oh, man. I hate this game. Oh, dude. I hate this game so much. A freeze? Really? That would have been that would have been great turns for us. We would have popped Trick Room. We would have been thriving out there. I could have wood hammered the next turn. Oh, my. We would have been sitting so pretty. Blizzard is still going to double land, which is ridiculous. And he gets a crit on my Golden Go. If my Golden Go dies out to the Shadow Ball, I'm going to be so upset. Don't die. Thank you. We can say bye-bye to Glaceon. We can do some nice damage there. Ninetales can't swap out anymore, which is great news. And we still do really good damage on that slot. That is terrible, man, though. Oh, that was Zoruk. Okay, so they still have Glaceon. They still have Glaceon. That was Zoruk. Luckily, we KO'd it regardless. All right. So now how are we going to play this one? I got Arch Loot on late game. We know they got Glaceon. I mean, to be honest, my... My what's called can do a lot of work. Arch Loot on. Arch Loot on can really get after it. Obviously, we want to go for another Make It Rain. And if I can, I'd rather just, you know, land a Hurricane and finish off this, uh... This Ninetales. But Ninetales is going to go Moonblast. Moonblast is still going to be able to KO... Freeze Dry is going to pop out here. We're going to lose Glaceon. So it turns into a 2v2 with one of my Frozen Pokemon. I still feel like we could definitely win this match. Oh, a Pelipper outspeeds. That's great. That just made things a lot easier. I thought Glaceon was outspeeding Pelipper. Beautiful. So Pelipper picks up the KO. Turns into a 2v1. Yeah, we should win this match. No problem now. Especially with Flash Cannon. And we stab in. Super effective. Freeze Dry launches. Bye bye, Pelipper. This match would have been so much easier if I didn't get Frozen. I would have popped Trick Room and then just went after it. We probably would have. We probably would have got the the sweep there. We definitely would have got the sweep. We definitely would have got the sweep. I would have popped Trick Room had Speed Control. I would have wood hammered into the uh, the Nine Tails slot. I would have make it rained. Would have been all over, and then I would just make it rained again. Everything would have been chill. Would have been easy matchup for us, but nice little freeze on Mimikyu slot. But from here, we're gonna go into a Flash Cannon. If we can, we're gonna go into a Player Off, and we're gonna look to win this match. Mimikyu still frozen solid. It is outspeeding. Which is good news. And Flash Cannon is going to launch. That does nice damage. I don't think Glaceon's KO in one shot. No chance. You can get a freeze. That'd be the luckiest thing ever. And cool, you don't. Awesome. I get the stamina boost. Night, night. Thanks for playing Flash Cannon. Play rough. Spamming that. And Mimikyu finally thaws out. For the game winning hit. For the game winning hit. We love you, Mimikyu. So 1 0 to get this video started. So far, so good. We're going up against a meta squad right here. They got a few physical attackers, so Mimikyu with Will-O-Wisp could come up clutch. They got Dragonite, they got Rillaboom, they got King Gambit. On top of that, they got the Arch Lunite and Pelipper combo just like us. And last but not least, they have Incineroar. I definitely want to lead Mimikyu because I might want to pop Trick Room this match. And honestly, like Mimikyu Golden Go could be pretty good considering they have two fake out users. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to go Golden Go? I'm not too sure. I definitely want Ursaluna, but I don't want to lead Ursaluna. I definitely don't want to lead Ursaluna. I might just go in the Golden Go. I think they're going to lead Incineroar, though. If they lead Incineroar, you could be pretty good. But, you know, we're going to go Golden Go. We're going to play this one safe. Go Ursaluna in the back end. And then last but not least, I think they set the rain on their own. So, I believe Archelodon could just be a great special attacker for us. Especially if they set the rain, we don't have to waste a spot for Pelipper. Even though Pelipper is rather decent in the format right now. But Archelodon, just a great Pokemon all around. Probably one of the better regulation H Pokemon. I put it up in like the S tier category. Because it's kind of almost like a uh, 
like a Paradox Pokemon. Like, it kind of looks like a Paradox Pokemon, right? You're like, okay, this is Arch Luna's Paradox Pokemon. But it's not. It's not a Paradox Pokemon, so you can use it in Regulation Age. Its stats are amazing, too. But they're going to end up leading these two. They can't fake me out, which is good. You could Flash Cannon, and you could double down to Mimikyu, maybe try to pick up the KO. Um, over here, I might just set up an Nancy plot. I might get plotting with this. I, t I could tear grass here. Which is definitely going to be my play. I'm going to tear grass. And pop a trick room. So tear grass, pop a trick room. We are going to go into a plot full of nasties. And we'll go from there. I mean, their speed's probably slower than mine. Maybe I should have attacked with Golding of this turn. But my whole thought process here is get off this nasty plot. Maybe throw a few burns on the field. And then, you know, get out Ursula and do its work. But I do think that they're potentially doubling down in the Mimikyu here, which is why I want to go Grass Terra. I, th I could definitely see like a Flash Cannon and a, uh, oh, no way you U-turn there. That's actually good though. Good we have the Disguise. So U-turns out of there, we are Nasty Pot setting up. And I think you're Flash Cannon here as well, so th this Terra is good. Thank you, Disguise. Thank you, Disguise. Like I mentioned in the beginning, Disguise is just elite. It's just so good, which is, which is why, or what makes Mimikyu so good. I end up going into King Gambit. I could burn you. I can burn you. Flash Cannon's gonna launch in this slot. We don't have Terra anymore, which is a little rough on our end. But Nancy Plot is gonna fly. The Nancy Plot flies. Um, Trickrum is here. You got some slow Pokemon, man. I gotta burn that King Gambit. I definitely gotta burn that King Gambit. So from here, I'm gonna go Will O Wisp. And I'm just gonna protect you. Where do I swap Mimikyu? I think they see. Hmm. Now we're gonna go for the burn, just protect here. Burn protect, especially with King Gambit on the field. Like a sucker punch would just drop me. It would just drop me. Or like a Kowtow cleave. I'm kinda hoping we get off this burn and then they just KO Mimikyu. That'd be really nice. Yeah, there's the Caltech lead. That's what I'm scared of, man. That's what I'm scared of. Can we soak up this Flash Cannon at least? Draco Meteor. Nope, we're not soaking that up. Draco Meteor takes out Mimikyu. Okay. Drops your special attack. That's good news. And now from here, we can bring out Blood Moon Ursulina, which is great for us. Really good for us. So I got Blood Moon. Um. Huh. Put ourselves in a bad predicament with King Gambit on the field. I think we have to Earth Power. And I'll Shadow Ball. Maybe I should have Nasty Plot it. Sucker Punch. Oh, it's looking scary. Man, it's looking scary. And I think we're going to see a Terror from King Gambit. I think I probably should have just flip flop these shots here. I think I should have Shadow Ball the King Gambit slot. Actually, it's probably Dark type. But I probably should have Earth Power the Arch Loot on. Let's see a Protect here. We could definitely see a Protect. I mean, Archaludon stats are rather low. So we might see a swap out from them. But this Trick Room might have not been the right call, considering of how slow their Pokemon actually are. And Archaludon's just going to Protect this turn. Okay, so no Terra, which is good. Earth Power should just KO. You're going to go for Sucker Punch. Can you soak this? You do. That is massive. That is massive. Because Earth Power now picks up the KO. Good work, Ursa Luna Bear. And we got a couple turns left in Trick Room, and we're ready to roll. So I could protect, get back more HP if I want to. Shadow Ball is going to get blocked. Um, how many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. That is the real question, because Ursula needs to, needs to fully thrive off of this. So I get back Leftovers and Grassy Terrain. But we haven't really gotten off any value with Golden Go yet. Which is tough. But, I mean, it's acting as that Pokemon to take shots. So I think they might attack it this turn again. So let's see. They're going to bring out Rillaboom. Rillaboom can obviously pick out Ursaluna. How many turns are left in Trick Room? Is it two? It is two. It is two. I'll probably make it rain. Along with the Earth Power. But yeah, he's going to fake me out all day here. He is so faking me out because we don't have Terra anymore, which is rough news. Rough news. There's the fake out. Pretty simple call. 
Ursuline is going to flinch, and you outspeed Golden Go. Oh, no, Golden Go outspeeds first, so that's good. And SC Pot Make It Rain does beautiful damage across the board. And I dropped my special attack. He's going to go for an Electro Shot here. So he's charging us up. He's going to go Power Herb Electro Shot to finish off my Golden Go. I'm cool with that. I got one turn left in Trick Room. And from here, one turn left in Trick Room is not, not too shabby. I mean, we could definitely see a Protect come out from... Archer Ludon, right? We can definitely see a Protect come out from Archer Ludon. Or a swap. I mean, they should swap, because if we KO roll them here, then you can't swap and your Archer Ludon's a little lower. But I got Archer Ludon, Archer Ludon on my own. So to be honest, I might just body press, pick up the KO on the roll boom, and just protect my Ursa Luna here. Because they think we're attacking. They're probably going for Grassy God. Yeah, I'm all for this. I'm all for this. I am all for this. I'm all for this. I think you protect uh, Archer Ludon here. I really do. Last turn left in Trick Room. They checked it out. They're like, all right, one turn left in Trick Room. Let's protect Archer Ludon. Let's go for a Grass Guide or a Wood Hammer into Ursa Luna, which I'm just going to block. And then we're just going to take out the Roll Boom. That's my plan here. That's my plan. That's my that's my call. I think I think it's to protect on. I think it's to protect on the Archer Ludon and then to attack on the Roll Boom into my Ursa Luna. So we protect our Ursa Luna Bear first. Show me to protect on Archer Ludon, please, and thank you. Yep. And honestly, Archer Ludon might just be faster. There's the Grass Guy. Look at that read. Look at that read. I swear, this person's like a book. We got him right in front of us. We're just reading the book. Reading the book, baby. Body press does a KO, though. Should just flash cannon. What am I doing? I should just flash cannon. That really hurts, dude. At least grass disappears. That that's that's a plus. That's a plus. But oh dude, that sucks. That really just I think I gotta go for double protect at this point. You're not gonna go for earth power, but Oh dude, that's terrible. Go for flash cannon this time. That's terrible. I should just flash cannon the first time. Oh man, cause now you're just gonna wood hammer me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, dude, one HP bandit. Don't do me dirty like that. Come on, game. Come on, game. You can't do me dirty like that, even though I should have went for a flash cannon. I should have went for the flash cannon. It's going to bite me, isn't it? It's going to withdraw roll That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind that, because who are you going to go into from here? You're going to go Dragonite. Flash cannon's going to launch. Give me a special defense drop. Give it to me. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. Drake and me is going to launch your minus one. We soak decently well. So he wants the grass terrain back out here. Earth power is going to launch. going to pick up the KO. Um, huh. Now how do we play this one? They still have terror, don't they? Man, this real boom should be a goner. This real boom should be a goner. Now it's back on the field with fake outs. With everything. Um, I think I just doubled down with attacking here. I think I Draco Meteor this, uh, this Dragonite. Or do I make sure that what's called goes down? Man, Dragonite's scary. I'm gonna Draco Meteor Dragonite. You still have Terra, though, and I know you're gonna use it. Do I make that read? Do I make that read? I think we make the read of him going into normal Terra. I really do. And I think instead of... I think instead of Draco Meteor, we just get rid of Roll Boom, or we double down into Roll Boom. Or I could Body Press. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Body Press. I'm gonna read the Normal Terra. Alright, no Normal Terra, but this might mean we get off... This might mean we get off, what's it called? Hyper Voice. He thought I was gonna Protect. Oh, that's huge, that's huge. That's why I didn't want to Protect, too. Alright, so that's good. Stamina's boosting us. Archer Ludon's gonna flinch. That's plus two Archer Ludon. Hyper Voice launches. We don't protect and we pick up the double KO, so big mistake for them. Leave my Ursa Luna on the field. That Pokemon just hits way too hard. Solid second match going back and forth. Really didn't know who was gonna win, but hey, we go 2-0. Oh. Let's go hop to our third and final. Final match time, and we are going up against Rhyperior. Now, Rhyperior is an absolute unit, especially within Trick Room, and they got Porygon 2 and Mimikyu, just like us, to set the Trick Room up. They also got Palafin, they got Rillaboom, and last but not least, they have Amoongus. So, honestly, 
They're looking pretty good on Trick Room, so I might just go into like Sinistra and imprison Trick Room because their Trick Room squad is definitely better than ours. So I'm gonna do Sinistra for the lead and Golden Go here for the lead. I think this is a solid lead. We dodge fake outs, we can set up nasty plots. I like this. I'm gonna imprison Trick Room, so this is really good for us. I think bring a Mimikyu late game and Archaludon, or do we just bring Ursaluna? Let's just bring Ursaluna because if they do end up getting off Trick Room. Ursaluna is going to be an absolute beast. And even if they don't get off Trick Room, Ursaluna still outspeeds like the Amoongus, the Porygon too, and maybe even the Rhyperior. So that could be really clutch for us. That could definitely be really clutch for us. But we're bouncing back from yesterday's video. Yesterday's video, we went 1 and 2. Right now, we're 2 and 0. Oh, so we're already off to a hot start. We'd love to grab ourselves a perfect record and uh, finish off today's video strong with Mimikyu. This Mimikyu is awesome. And it's pretty cool that uh, me and our opponent are rocking out with Mimikyu because you like you don't see Mimikyu that often so it's pretty dope it's definitely pretty dope but I think they're gonna end up leading like P2 alongside maybe Palafin or even like a Moongus just like Rage Powder it or even Rhyperior and just like protect but my final guess is gonna be Rhyperior and P2 and he's gonna protect the Rhyperior and we're just gonna imprison Trick Room set up an A spot and then he's gonna be like oh my god I'm in such a bad position and then I'm just gonna terrestrialize steel and make it rain for the win <laughs> that's that's my prediction here could definitely be totally off, but we're predicting Rhyperior and P2 getting after it. Let's see it. Show it to me. None of them. <laughs> Not a single one of them. So they might flip turn out of here. Um, could have Shadow Sneak, which I'm scared of, but I am going to imprison Trick Room. I'm going to say that you are going for Trick Room, and I'm going to Nasty Plot it. I am going to Nasty Plot it. You just have to be Trick Room with this team, right? I feel like you just have to. I feel like you just have to. But yeah, look at Palafin's tail. How did that ring get around its tail? Somebody tell me that. Look at that ring. How did it? How did it get it get around its tail? It makes no sense. Unless it's like fins in the back just like fold in. I don't know. But Amuga's gonna come out here. This definitely leads me to thinking going for Trick Room. I'm gonna pull out plus two, baby. Plus two. In prison. We're gonna say no, no to Trick Room. Show me you're going for Trick Room. Come on, man. That's too easy. So now I can go for Macha Gacha. Actually, who's slower? Please show me Sinisha. Or actually, Sinisha's faster. Show it to me. You're not. I really wanted that to happen because... I really want to take off... I really want to take off... What's it called? Disguise first. And you know what? I'm going to protect Golden Go. I'm going to go for Macha Gacha. Take off the disguise. And then kind of go from there. Because then I could steal Terra and pretty much just win the game. Yeah, you want to go for Shadow Sneak, don't you? You want to go for Shadow Sneak, don't you? Yeah, we just need to get rid of this disguise. Are you spore me as well? Good thing I got Sinisha on the field. Because you can't spore Sinisha, which is great. So Macha Gacha, just for the disguise take out. And then I can just Rage Powder this, uh, this Mimikyu. Do I go for another Nasty Pot? No, we got to attack here. We gotta attack. Terrasalize and make it rain. Send it. Send it. Steal Terra plus two boost it. Make it run. Make it run. Make it run all over the place. Make it rain, baby. Right, I love Mimikyu's eyes. They're just on its belly. <laughs> it's so funny because a lot of people actually don't know that. If you look at Mimikyu, like, the face and everything on Mimikyu, making it kind of look like Pikachu, it, it's all fake. It's all fake. The actual Pokemon is below it. It's just like a costume. Like, look at its belly. Those two little... Those two little dashes on it, that's its eyes. That's its real eyes, which is hilarious. It's hilarious. So Sinister's just going to take super effective damage. Make It Rain is going to fly here. And who's dodging this? Mimikyu dot okay, okay. Mimikyu dodges that. Alright, make that make sense. Mimikyu's dodging this. Hold up. Is it make it rain a hundred accuracy? Mimikyu just dodged it. That's crazy. I was gonna say I like never see a make it rain like somebody dodge and make it rain. This thing's dodge and make it rains. Alright, Mims, I see you. I see it. So we got this guy's down. Um, 
I could just pop another one if I want to. Another make it rain. I could swap Sinistra as well. But yeah, that should have been a double KO. Should have been a double KO. Let's see who they end up going into. Could be Palafin here. Palafin could definitely come out here. Definitely am scared of Palafin. Um, but I mean, Retrotter helps us out significantly. Let's see who you got. It's going to be Palafin. This is just going to be simple Rage Powder. Rage Powder, make it rain, baby. Do it again. Where do I go for Macha Gacha? Rage Powder, make it rain all day. All day. Let's get. Let's take her damage. Let's take her damage. Even though if I get off of Macha Gacha, the damage is crazy. The damage is actually pretty good. Macha Gacha can hit pretty hard. And I get back a ton of HP considering I get HP from both opponents. But we're going to play it simple. A little bit of Macha Gacha. Well, not Macha Gacha. Rage Powder here. And Shadow Sneak's going to launch again. We end up soaking on red. And I Citrus Berry up, baby. I get my Berry up. Berry up, no problem. Frame Punch going to launch. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous, because I can eat up another Shadow Sneak and Rage Powder again. Make it rain. Bye-bye, Mimikyu. Palfin, how much damage are you taking? Not bad. You can probably soak up a Shadow Ball. Drain Punch is scaring me. Let's be honest here, but Mimikyu, go on. Get it on at my face. I could go for another Make It Rain, depending on what Pokemon they throw out here. I mean, spamming it's kind of kind of the right play, if you ask me. It's going to be Robin, so he's just going to fake out. He's just going to fake out the Golden Go here. And honestly, I'm going to go for a Macha Gacha, just to try to get back some HP from this, what's it called? From this Palafin. I'm going to protect that. I probably should have just popped Trick Room this turn. If I pop Trick Room, I pretty much win the game. I should have. I should have. Then I just bring out Ursaluna. Kind of just kick it. But actually, not really, because you have Grassy Glide with Grassy Terrain and Jet Punch. Two first time priorities, which is definitely a little bit scary. But yeah, this seems like an easy protect for me. I mean, you can only fake out one Pokemon, so like fake, protecting Golden Goes to play. Plus, you already showed that you wanted to go after my Golden Go with a Drain Punch. So I just think protect is really easy here, and I think we're going to get like a double protect here. Wave Crash going to come through. We soak that. And what are you going for, Robin? Double down into my Golden Ghost slot. And you're going to go for Knockoff. Smart play. You got Knockoff. Take out my Sinistra. Good call. You get a crit, too. I really want to get off of Macha Gacha. But, all right, from here, Ursaluna is not looking good. That's my, that's my real problem. Ursaluna is not looking good here. But Mimikyu, not too shabby. This guy's up. Oh, yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're going to take out this Palfin. We're going to get rid of this Palfin. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't even know I have Woodhammer. So I'm going to drop Woodhammer. Um, and if I can, just get off another Make It Rain because I think they're going to Wave Crash me, pick up the KO onto me. But Mimikyu, great call for late game here. And if I get rid of this Palafin, I mean, Ursula might be able to soak up like a Grassy Glide. Definitely does not soak it up a Woodhammer. But <coughs> but maybe I can just like burn the Robin later. Let's see. Because I think what's going to happen is like a Grassy Glide take off Disguise or a Jet Punch, one or the other. And then a Wave Crash into my Golden Go. But honestly, I'm kind of thinking they might double down to Mimikyu, which is terrifying. Like a Wood Hammer and a Wave Crash. Oh, yeah, like something like that. Like Grassy Glide into Wave Crash. Oh, taking out my Mimikyu would be, would be terrible. Okay, cool. They go for Drain Punch. That's 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 better for me. So this guy's coming in clutch here. Woodhammer, no problem is getting rid of this Palafin, especially with the grassy terrain. And we set ourselves up for a victory. So big time KO from Mimikyu flying through here. <gasps> we don't have Shadow Sneak either. Oh, are you kidding me? That didn't KO? Luckily, we got Make It Rain. Luckily, we got Make It Rain. I can't believe that didn't KO, but Make It Rain doing insane amount of damage on the roll boom. Setting us up for victory, no problem. No problem. That would have been a heartbreaker. But I didn't follow through with Make It Rain. I was thinking of going for Shadow Ball, but I was just like, let's just go for Make It Rain. Because I thought maybe Golden Good dies out here. They do bury up, which is good for them. Um, I think I might throw a burn here. I might go for a burn. Or I think Play Rough can just finish this off. I think you hits pretty hard. We're just going to go for Play Rough. Play it simple. So Play Rough, Shadow Ball. We're not going to protect. We just want to get off damage here and turn this into a 2v1. But yeah, wow. Woodhammer into Grass Terrain? I know it wasn't stab, but come on now, Mimikyu. You got to pick up that KO. You got to pick up that KO. 
They're probably just trying to figure out ways to uh, do this. There's its eyes. There's its eyes. That's a great picture of that Mimikyu's eyes like we talked about earlier. As you could tell, it was definitely its eyes because of uh, the way the camera the camera centered it. The camera was centered right on its face, not on the top part where everybody thinks its face is. We're going to end up seeing a Terra type come out here. Oh my god, fire is perfect. Fire is really good. We do have Shadow Ball launching here. Player Off's actually going to go first and do minimal damage. And Shadow Ball outspeeds. Okay, so that's game. Cool. Cool. See you later, Roll Boom. Thanks for playing. GG's. We go 3 0 for today's video. Absolutely dominating with this Mimikyu team. My boy Mimikyu getting the work done. 3 0. Perfect record. What more can you guys ask for? Mimikyu doing amazing with Trick Room, Will O Wisp, Woodhammer, and Play Rough. I'm pretty sure we used all those moves except for Will O Wisp. We might have not used Trick Room. I'm not sure. But Mimikyu killed it today. We love that Pokemon doing big time damage. Doing everything it needs to do. And then you have Pelipper Arch Luna, which we actually didn't use Pelipper today. We used Arch Luna on its own. Arch Luna being great in the Trick Room. And then Golden Ghost Sinisha doing their thing. In Prison Trick Room, Nasty Plots, Make It Rain. You guys seen it all in the third and final match. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.